What the hell, Ipsy? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, you already know what time it is. <laughs> I went ahead and purchased the March, I guess it's just like March mystery bags and they finally arrived. Actually, they arrived a couple days ago. I just haven't gotten around to filming them. These are super freaking adorable. This puffer jacket style is super freaking cute. And I love this, like, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like the thing you hook on to your car when you want to like close the door, but you can't because you got too much stuff in your car. So you use these little things to kind of like hook the top to the bottom so the stuff don't fall out. It looks like one of those. And I think that is so freaking cute. I love the color combination with the yellow and then the pink and the blue. It's really giving spring. The puffer jacket element is so cool. This is probably one of my favorite mystery bags that I've gotten. And then y'all, this one though, look at how freaking cute that is. I love the color scheme. I love the puffer jacket feel and it's just nice and soft. Normally I would hate that the colors didn't line up with the seams, but with this, it actually doesn't bother me. It's more of an organic kind of color. What would I call that? It's more of like an organic flow from color to color, which I think is so freaking cute. And then the zipper, it's just everything about this is so pretty. Let's go ahead and get into these products. Hopefully Ipsy doesn't scam me like they did that one time. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hold that over their head for a very long time. Cause I was just, I was shook it. I was very upset. Like the one mystery bag that I spend the most money on, y'all not gonna give me all my products, bruh. They did give me a refund though. I will say that they did try to make amends by giving me a refund. It was like $6 and some change that they refunded to my PayPal, which was nice, okay? It was nice. They did something to rectify it. I was getting a little worried because it was taking a little bit for them to respond to my email, but they eventually did and then gave me my refund. So we're cool, but I'm gonna still keep bringing it up until I see more consistency with giving me what I paid for. But y'all, let's go ahead and get into these little mystery bags. So freaking cute. Ooh, wait, y'all gotta see that again. And it's a solid zipper. Like it's not flimsy. I don't feel like this part is gonna fall off because some of the little bags that I've gotten, the little tassel completely ripped off, which sucks. This is what the bag is looking like on the inside. It has like a really pretty beige color on the inside, which I think is nice because the outside is so busy as far as like color scheme, that you have something more simple on the inside to kind of balance it out. The first thing that I'm pulling out is by Kate Somerville. And this is the Retinol Vitamin C Moisturizer. And this is what she's looking like. I've tried something from Kate Somerville. It was the Exfolicate and I actually liked it. I think it was pretty, ooh, this is fancy. I think it was actually really nice. I mean, it was nice, but not nice enough where I was like, I'm gonna go purchase the full size myself, but it was still nice to kind of use as like a little sample. This is what she's looking like. Super freaking posh and expensive looking. I love this gold detail right here and it's kind of pearlescent. I don't know if you Y'all could see that. I think this is so cute. This is eight milliliters. Okay, so you're not getting much, but you're you're getting a little some some. Ooh, okay. So it has like a little little. Ch -ch -ch. Let's see the consistency. Oh, it kind of formed like a little heart. No, that's not a heart. That's like a um, like a pretzel, like a pretzel that you eat. I think that's so funny. I gotta rub it in to see if it has a scent to it. it feels like a like a typical moisturizer. Ooh, that smells good. It's kind of fruity, but then it has like a spice to it. I just, I don't know what, what is this scent? It doesn't really say anything about like the scent profile on this, but it smells fruity with a hint of spice. And I think it smells so good. It went into the skin okay. I mean, I feel like a little stickiness, but it's not like so annoying where I'd be like, oh my God, my hand is so sticky. Let me wash my hands. You can use this, ooh, PM only. So you're supposed to use this at night. Oh, cause it's retinol, duh. Use once a day, apply a thin, even layer to the face and neck, reduce the frequency of use if sensitivity happens. While using this product, also use a sunscreen daily. I will be using her because as you can see, your girl got visitors. I picked this one, so that's why it looked like that. And then I got a visitor on my nose, the heck? Big old visitor on my nose. This one was actually much larger than it is right now. I've been putting that, that uh, Nip Fab on there 
there to kind of get rid of the visitors so I'm not picking at her like I did this one. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try and see if I like her, see if she does what she's supposed to do. Starting off good. That was actually a really good first product. I'm very shook it. The next item is by Kapari Kopari. I think that's what that is. And it says Sun Shield Soft Glow Daily Face SPF. 30. And this is what the box is looking like. Very simple, very cute. It says the sunscreen smooths skin's appearance with a sheer weightless satin finish. Oh, so it's an itty bitty little squeezy tube. Just the cutest little itty bitty squeezy tube. And it's just like a sunscreen. And she's nice and safety sealed. Ooh, I was not expecting that. This is more like a serum. I was thinking this was gonna be like a moisturizer kind of consistency, but if you look at it, it's more of a serum. It's kind of oily though. It feels good, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's oily, but it feels good. And it went into the skin beautifully. It has a slight scent to it, but nothing so strong where I can actually pinpoint the notes in it. We'll definitely give that a try when, you know, it's sunny outside. We'll put a little, little layer over the face and do like a soft, natural look. Ooh, this is so itty bitty. This is the ittiest, the bittiest things I've ever seen from First Aid Beauty. Literally like most of their stuff is much bigger, even the sample sizes. This is the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. And it's a little dirty. I don't know, can y'all, can't really see that, but it's like dirty. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Let me see if I can clean this off a bit. Uh, no, she's still dirty. But yeah, this is just like a little eye cream. Very cute and itty bitty. It just like started spilling out. So there was like no safety seal at all. I'm not the biggest fan of. I prefer a nice safety seal. That way I know that nobody been in my stuff. So it's probably somebody been in my stuff. I don't know. This is the consistency. It looks like gold pearls, like very pretty. I think that's so cute. I don't really have anything on my face, so you know, might as well. Eye cream is very uh, expensive. I mean, I don't have like severe issues when it comes to like bags under my eyes, or maybe I do and I'm just in denial. I mean, they look a little brighter, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back when I'm editing the footages, I'll know if I see a real difference, but I mean, it's cool. Nothing too crazy, nothing to like, write home about. And the last I... Hold up. How many items do they say they're supposed to have in these? I believe it's supposed to have five. I'm gonna double check. Cause right now I'm looking at four. Ipsy, come on now. I'm pretty sure the miniature Ipsy mystery bags are supposed to have five deluxe samples. I only see four. What the hell, Ipsy? <laughs> I'm gonna go back and look at what I ordered just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to come with five items. But the last thing that is in my little bag was the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. And see, this is what I was talking about that I've tried before. This stuff is really nice. It has like a, it has like a green tea kind of scent to it. it. Smells so good. It has a nice little safety seal. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pop this little bad boy in the future giveaway, which Y'all, we hit 5,000 subscribers. Because we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be putting together a giveaway. So it's gonna be like a little mystery box. Well, if you've been watching the channel, then you kind of know what's gonna be in the mystery box. But I'm not gonna put everything in the box. It's gonna be like a mixture of, you know, a sort of good. So I guess it's kind of like a mystery, but I'm gonna be putting together a little mystery box. I just have to like figure out how I wanna set up the giveaway so that I can make it a little bit more secure. I don't want people putting their information out there just willy nilly for anybody to have access to. So I will be working towards getting a secure giveaway set up in celebration of hitting 5k. So this will be in a future giveaway. We don't know if it's going to be in this giveaway, but it's going to be in a giveaway. So I'm going to put this off to the side. I just, I'm so sick of these mystery bags saying one thing and then coming with less than what they said. You know, it'd be different if it came with more, right? Like <laughs> you say five, but then you snuck in six. I'd be happy with that. But when you, you know, say five and then you give me four, I have a problem with that, a big problem. Moving on to the big boy. Okay, the big, big, big papa right here. Let's see what she's got in store. The inside is again, very simple, you know, to kind of contrast the very busy color scheme on the outside. So that's really pretty. If I got six items in the big bag and just four in this one, one, I won't be as upset, but I will still be upset because what if you're just ordering the glam bag and not the big, bigger bag? Then you're getting like cheated out of an item, which I don't like. The first thing that I'm pulling out is by Danessa Myricks Beauty. I think that's how you say that. Danessa Myricks Beauty. And it is the Dew Wet Balm Highlighting 
face and body balm. That looks so fancy. And the best thing about this is you can see yourself. I guess this is just like a highlighter and this is in the shade Rose Water. This packaging is super cute. Ooh, it has that like texture that I like where it's like smooth and shiny, but it has like a little, I don't know, like a matte shiny, like a in-between kind of thing going on. And then it's iridescent. You see that? I think that is so freaking pretty. It's got like different iridescence on this. Well, not down there, but everywhere else. Ooh. Ooh, this looks bougie. This looks so bougie, bruh. Get into it. Isn't that so pretty? And it has like this ridging on the side, which I think is so awesome. It feels good. Like it just, it just feels really nice. This is the bougiest highlighter I own. It has like this look cute little diamond thing going on right here. And this is the balm. Is there like a, ooh, no, it's just that shiny. I thought there was like a protectant seal over the top, but no, I think I think that is so pretty. Let me see. I'm gonna just kinda. Ooh, that is so satisfying. That's what she looks like. I don't have any makeup on, but I just kinda wanna see what it does to my natural skin. I mean, I see a little something there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like that. I mean, my face already has kind of a glisten to it. You know, that natural inner glow. But yeah, I think that is so pretty. We're definitely gonna play around with this in a future try on, cause this is really cute. Very, very nice way to start off the bag. The next thing I'm pulling out, which is actually very useful because my current sponge are disgusting. Well, I threw one of them away. Now I'm left with another disgusting sponge. <laughs> So I'm actually very happy for these. This is by Basic Beauty and it's just a beauty sponge set. I can go ahead and throw away my old sponges that are completely trash. Oh, they feel really good. Okay, I like that. It has a nice, nice texture to them. I don't know what this shape is for. Is it for like getting right in here? The other one is just like a typical beauty sponge shape. I don't know what, the, is this maybe for like ergonomics? Like to just make it easier to hold? I don't know. Very nice, very cute. The next item in here is by Dermalect and it is the XL Lash Voluminizer. There's a volumizer. Is it voluminizer or volumizer? You guys gotta let me know. This is what it looks like. I don't think I own anything from Dermalex. Well, now I do. And it says that this is the eyelash and eyebrow booster formula. So specially formulated to target thin, weak, brittle lashes. Formulated with strengthening trio of active multi-peptides. Transforms lashes to appear longer, thicker, fuller, and stronger. Conditioning treatment works to bolster, moisturize, and fortify. Excellent for eyebrows too. Ooh, so I can use my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So is this supposed to help my lashes like grow or just look good in the moment? Ooh, this packaging is bougie. Isn't that so pretty? This is nice. And this is what it looks like. I think this is supposed to help grow your lashes, which is really nice because my lashes are really thin. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I have like the sparsest eyelashes and eyebrows. So I am interested to see if this actually works. I'm gonna see if I can use this every day for a month and report back to y'all if it works or not. Cause I'm like the perfect candidate to try this product. Y'all barely could see my eyebrows. I barely have any. And my eyelashes are super short. You see that? Like they're not that long. I'm actually gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna try this for a month. I'm gonna start it in April. I, I'm weird. I need my numbers to match up. I like to start at zero and then work my way to the end. Like I just, I like to start on a Monday. That's just how I am. I'm going to start using this on April 1st and then use it every single day and see how my lashes look by the end of that time period. I will definitely continue to buy it if it works. Cause who doesn't want thicker, more beautiful lashes like this? The next thing is the Set and Prep Setting Spray by Sophia Maybell. I think that's how you say it, Maybell. And this is what she looks like. Pinky packaging, a hydrating coconut scent. Ugh, I don't like coconut. Setting spray that sets makeup for up to 12 hours without melting or settling into fine lines. I'm gonna take it out of the box, but then I'm gonna put it back in that box because I do not like coconut. Maybe one of y'all like coconut and you can enjoy this, but this is what she looks like. It's cool that she's like nice and see-through. I think that's so fun. You can just see through her. That's fun. I think this is super cute. Too bad it has a coconut smell. 
No, ma'am. I'm gonna put this off to the side for one of y'all in the giveaway. So I did get five items in my larger mystery bag. It's just the smaller one is lacking big time. And the last item is by Context and it is a dual lip pencil. And this is what it looks, well, is it this way? This is what it looks like. What color is this? I don't see a color name on this. So hopefully it's a nice color, we'll see. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. So like I said, it's a dual end. So you get this color and then you get this color. Let's see what this, ooh, I like that sound. That sound was very satisfying. This is what this looks like. Ooh, that's very nice. That'll look really pretty over like a light pink. And then this is the next one. Let's see, this one is much lighter. You might actually be able to like fill your lips in with this side and then use that as the actual lip line. I think that's so cute. These lighter shades don't quite work best for me because they blend in with my actual lip color. So yeah, I'll definitely be giving this a try and I might fill my lips in with this side of the pencil and see. That was everything in my mystery ipsies. I'm gonna check and see if I was supposed to get five items in that smaller Ipsy, because if so, Ipsy needs to run me my money or send me my extra product that they missed. All right, y'all, so I do have an update. I did reach out to Ipsy via their glam bot, I think that's what they call it, and someone actually reached out to me very quickly. At First, they told me, yeah, it was supposed to come with four items, but we labeled it incorrectly. We're gonna give you a refund for the full bag, which I wasn't expecting a full refund, but they did give me my money back for the glam bag the smaller one that comes with the deluxe samples. And I received another email like a couple hours later saying that they were actually gonna send me the item I was supposed to have in my bag. So the first email was kind of lying to me saying that it was supposed to come with four, but the whole time it was supposed to come with five. So they did email me back and say that they're gonna send me an additional, I guess, deluxe sample to kind of make up for the item I was missing. So that's my little update, you know, Ipsy, they're, they're trying to rectify their problems, which I have no issue with. I just wish the problems didn't happen in the first place. But yeah, update. Of the items that I received, I think they were really good bags. I'm very excited for these two. These two products made the bags for me. I mean, they were all in the big bag. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Wait, why'd I close my eyes like that? That's weird. Deuces.